welcome to the Boston Roll channel. If you want to support my daily Eternal Magic offerings while getting amazing perks like the Boston Roll Discord community, have me play your deck on the channel, or list inside more guides before tournaments, check out the Patreon or YouTube membership program. This channel is possible because of these amazing sponsors. Check them out, all their links are in the video description. As always, thanks for being here. Let's go play some Magic. Welcome back for another Boston Roll video. Today I'm playing Legacy, and at the request of Patreon subscriber Justin, I am playing his take on Mono Black Painter. Black Stompy is a well-known archetype in the Legacy world. Dark ritualing out messed up stuff like Opposition Agent Dothy Voidwalker. Usually that deck can win with Helm of Obedience as well. And we don't have the Game 1 Leyline of the Voids. Instead, we have Painter Servant and Grindstone in this Urza Saga package. With, of course, Big Daddy, Karn the Great Creator, tying it all together. Great in artifact combo decks, great in stompy decks that ramp out really quickly. Karn, absolute unit. And this is a deck that gets to feature some new cards. Orcish Bowmasters, of course, kind of a reason to be in black these days. Spicy Magic card, I think I see it kind of settling down. We're out of that initial two-week window where every deck with black was just shoving Bowmasters in and decks without black were splashing black for Bowmasters. I think that window is passed and we're starting to settle into this card only being in decks it actually should be in. And this is a reason to be mono black. We have a critical mass of dinguses that are annoying to deal with. Bowmaster, Voidwalker, Oppo Agent, working up to Karn and Shouldred, and all the while threatening Painter Servant to do stuff. A card that was not in Justin's build, but I added two copies of the One Ring. I have found this card to be extremely stupid every time I play with or against it. It is currently everywhere in Modern. It will likely end up banned in that format. I think it'll land kind of where Uro ended up as far as what formats it's legal in and what formats it's okay in. So reasonable legacy tool, busted Modern tool. And I'm kind of of the mind that Decks that are trying to race up to 4 mana should probably consider the One Ring as an option. And as we're a deck with Karn and Shouldered already, hard to argue with this one. I also had the distinct displeasure earlier this week on this very channel playing against a deck with Shouldered and the One Ring. Let me tell you about losing one life in your upkeep and then gaining twice that much life, plus two, when you tap the One Ring with Shouldered in play. Mitigates the only drawback of this completely insane magic card and i'm excited about it i kind of waffled between putting one one ring in the deck and one in the sideboard for karn to wish for over something like soul guide lantern giving that a main deck slot but i figured the deck with four dothy void walker doesn't need more graveyard hate in the main even though this one sudoro was saga like i get it we can board it in or karn wish for it as we need it but i was struggling to imagine situations where Karn resolves, and we minus, and we get another 4 mana spell, and then that resolves, and then what world is that where Liquid Metal Coating didn't already take over that game, or we didn't already paint our combo? I don't know. So this felt more like a main deck card, and that's why it's there. And that's pretty much the deck. There's not a lot to say here. Big mana, artifacts, hate bears, and painter combo. Let's do it. I'm on the draw in round one. Swamp, Ancient Tomb, that doesn't cast Dothy Voidwalker or Karn is a little awkward, but I got Thoughtseize and a Bowmaster Painter. I'm in for this. Good enough. Opponent's on six. What are we doing? Burden Catacombs. Okay. That card is not in a lot of decks. Let's Thoughtseize and see what version of a combo deck they are. Oh, they're a... Bug deck without Yorion, so probably Bug Scam. Do I want to mess with this Zenith? I could take the Brainstorm and just bet against the Grist. Yeah, I'm going to take the Brainstorm, I think. That's the one that gives them the most options moving forward. Their hand is kind of poised to walk straight into this Oppo Agent. If they Zenith for some one drop, I can probably... Bowmaster it. And if they don't do that, Oppo Agents Live looks like they're doing it. Let's see if they have Delighted Halfling. That would play around most things here. Oh, geez, Veteran Explorer. Uh, that might be even better. 
I'm just gonna pass with opposition agent up. Enjoy your grist. Bug knit fit. Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm gonna flash this in and block. They have two unknown cards. How much of a blowout do we get? They can basically abrupt decay this right now or just get obliterated. And those are the only modes of this game. Or they could abrupt decay it now in response to the trigger, then they get lands and stuff, but they've passed priority. Looks like we're just farming. Cool. Get two swamps. They just decline their ability, obviously. And then these two swamps cast Bowmasters and Voidwalker, if Karn isn't somehow just better to do. Fascinating. Opponent said in the chat, they were going to say it was nice to play against me, but then I did them dirty like this. And I'm not done being dirty yet. Now we're being dirty. Okay, uh, I can play Karn and Voidwalker this turn. What does Karn do? Karn gets Grindstone? Yep, okay. I don't think I want to show them that I'm a Painter deck. I think I can win without giving them that. Attack Grist, attack Grist, and attack Opponent. Uh, I'm going to go Voidwalker, Karn, and grab Liquid Metal Coating. <laughs> Absolute madness. Oh, I'm going to get Helm. I have Voidwalker in play. That gets the game over, same way Grindstone does, without giving away any extra info. That was my turn three, by the way. Cabal Therapy. Oh no, they get to learn information. That's disappointing. I'm still going to win, but this was a very good hand for them to see. <laughs> we got a my lord in the comments in the or in the in the chat and then a concession. Okay. We are against Bug and Nick Fit with Zenith. Karn Silex. Players can't pay life to cast spells or activate mana abilities that aren't mana abilities. That shuts off fetch lands. Do I care about that? Probably not. Because what they're doing will come down way faster than what I'm doing. Plague Engineer on Insect can shut off Grist action. Turok Dread Cantor, just a pretty solid card in general. I kind of expect them to be an Uro deck given their colors, but that doesn't... That's not even Soul Guide Lantern. I was talking about Shadow Spear like it's Soul Guide Lantern. Never mind. I do like Shadow Spear. Orcish Bowmasters might actually be medium here. But we saw Brainstorm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just hit Submit. Or Snuff Out. I didn't see any creatures I'd want to Snuff Out or be able to Snuff Out. I'll turn Snuff into Turok. Okay. Here we go. I feel like this is a pretty positive matchup anyway. This one's slow, but it's steady. I can keep it. Burden Catacombs, Fetch, good call. Underground Sea, Thoughtseize, okay. I got a bunch of creatures in my hand. Are we worried about the short term or the long term? Short term it is. To rock, Dread Cantor is in my hand now. Play seven basics, so going for a veteran explorer line is probably not even good. Brainstorm pass was their line. Okay, now I'm holding up Shulja's Edict. I'm not just going to play Tarak as 2 1. They're not a white deck, it doesn't have protection from anything. Okay, just playing their third land and passing. Okay, now they know about Oppo, but they don't know about Bowmaster, so I could get a punish one way or another here. If they end up Brainstorm, I get to farm. Oh, Bowmaster, sure. Here's this card. I'm going to respawn with my own. Just pick off yours with mine. Yikes, okay. Plague Engineer on Orc. A clean little answer to Bowmasters. And then I'm going to Turok their hand. And hope Uro's not in it. Oh, Wasteland is nice. I could Wasteland them and play Oppo. I think I like that more. Wasteland your green and just play Oppo now. Because they missed a land drop last turn. I would like to lean into that. Oh, nice basic forest immediately. Disappointing. I chose poorly. They're telling me they don't have another Bowmaster because they didn't attack with the army. Leovold. Ugh. That makes Tarak a lot worse because I get to draw a card first. 
could wasteland them again, but then they get to draw a card there. And also just have a giant creature in play in the form of Turok. What does Karn do here? Not a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I am just going to Turok here. They get an extra card. It's fine. They get plus one, and then they lose two at random. Chain of Smog and Brainstorm. Oh, Chain of Smog's in your deck. Good to know. Yikes. And then I'm just going to hold back my blockers. No attacks. Probably the right call. I would have traded off Turok for anything that attacked so fast. Oh, there's Karn. What happens now? Just went from 4 to 7 mana, just like that. Silex? Is this a Silex opportunity? I could just have an empty board with Karn on it. Look what Metal Coating's rough versus Leovold. And also just Wasteland them and then cast Karn. Wastelanding first turns off Days or Soft Counters, because then they don't have blue. They floated black. I will move to combat. They are doing something. Assassin's Trophy on Tarak rather than Oppo. Interesting. Deal. I'll get this Swamp. And now... Karn for Silex is live again. Okay, here's Karn. And Karn can get... Ensnaring Bridge doesn't really help. There's no Lattice in this deck, unfortunately. Kind of hedged a little smaller than that. I could get Painter now and Grindstone next turn. Or Grindstone now, Painter next turn. Yes, use the ability. Yeah, I'm going to get Painter and then just Dark Ritual it out. This lets me block and protect the Karn. Like, if, now they have to attack with everything at Karn. And that clears Leovold, which clears the launch pad for whatever else I need to do this game. Just Plague Engineer attacking. Interesting. If I block with Oppo, then they can start fetching. If I block with nothing, then Karn is at 1, but I still have all my stuff. The fact that they're attacking with Plague Engineer and not Leovold is really interesting. That makes me think that they think there's going to be more game after this. Right, I lined up this Painter line. I'm going to take it. And now Shouldred's Edict can kill Leovold. And I don't have to commit to Grindstone. Collector, oof. Disappointing. Okay. That one's pretty good. Time to juke onto Ursa Saga. Had that the whole time. Totally. And I can grab Ensnaring Bridge here. I'm getting Ensnaring Bridge. Casting that. And each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. This doesn't target, and it'll kill either Leovold or Collector Oof. Pick your poison. I think you have to leave Oof in play here. Yep. Okay. Hellbent hiding behind an ensnaring bridge. Gotta deal with this Collector Oof somehow. Trophying my bridge. Rude. I mean, that's honestly kind of fine. Because if they want to attack and kill Karn here, I eat their army, and now my Constructs can battle. My bridge was kind of holding my Constructs back. Oh, and I drew a removal spell. I'm not going to show them that, though. Just going to attack for one. I'm going to let them take their whole turn thinking that they have a Collector Roof in play. Uh-oh, they drew an island. I'm in trouble. What's the payoff? Plague Engineer. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Do this one in response. And now I believe they're dead. Unless they have some way to play around Painter. Like boarded in an Emrakul or Gaia's Blessing or something. Plague Engineer on Construct. Not quite going to get there. I do have another artifact in play. One, two. Make another Construct. I have plenty of mana to Grindstone. I'll just cover all my bases here. Tutor up this awesome black grindstone. Thanks for that, Magic Online. And just blast them right now. See if there's a payoff. Can't snuff out here because Painter's black. Got the GG's. That was pretty exciting. Game one, absolute blow. Game two, pretty back and forth. But managed to make it happen. On to the next one.
This video is sponsored by Moxfield.com, the easiest way to build magic decks online. Moxfield supports over 30 formats, including legacy and everything else you'll see on this channel. There's multiple customizations so you can interact with your deck how you want. Views such as text, grid, or stacks, and groupings like type, subtype, color, color identity, even artist. The site offers light mode, dark mode, and so much more. However you want to see your deck, Moxfield can provide it for you. Follow my Moxfield to keep up with the channel and what I'm playing in paper. I'll see you there. On the draw in round two, I've got a turn one Bowmaster if I want it. Or turn two Oppo. Yeah, I'll keep this. Volcanic Island. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Okay. Haze is very good here. Just milled over a force of will. This makes me think they already have one. And milling over free permission when you're on the play as Delver is, uh, it's something. I can't really play around days, so I'm just not gonna. Here's a Bowmaster. Or, yeah, I think Bowmaster is better. Voidwalker is tempting because I can cast Bowmaster off of Saga and I can't cast Voidwalker. But actually killing this Dragon's Rage Channeler outright is pretty tempting. Obviously, there's the Daze. No surprise there. Blooded Strand, so they're holding a Volcanic Island. Delver. Another Bowmaster would be great. Children's Edict. And I'll take that, yeah. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Please do that. This will give them Delirium, but at least that creature's gone. Didn't play Wasteland. Thanks for that. That probably would have killed me immediately. And the Merc Tide. Dark Ritual, huh? This is probably past the point where it's helpful. Okay, Dark Ritual. Gothy Voidwalker. Force of Will on that. Okay, and then uh, I guess I'll play out the Grindstone. And the Shadow Spear. And I'm giving away a lot of information here. They didn't necessarily need to know I'm a Painter deck. People talking about Bowmasters and Grixis Tempo and this and that. Remember, is it Delver? Look at this. Absolute kicking. I have not done anything. I'm dead to Wasteland. I'm dead if they don't take another game action other than turning their creature sideways. They got Delirium on turn two, then played Murktide Regent, then immediately had Delirium again. Bowmaster is not close to helpful here. Okay, I'm dead. That was kind of play draw. I mean, they did have another force. Yeah, I mean, they just had a bunch of free permission in their hand. I'm not going to call that play draw. But certainly, if I had been on the play, that daze would have been worse. A fatal pushes, Plague Engineers, Orcish Bowmaster coming in. Snuff out's good. Children's good. All the Edict stuff is good. Oppo Agent, honestly, kind of mid. This doesn't affect anything in the mid game and it's only really good if i dark ritual it out on turn one and they don't have interaction maybe i can put a one ring in the board where karn can find it though that's what i said earlier about when are we wishing for that instead of painter combo maybe it's just too many four drops and it's the one i'm least excited about i could kind of thought sees here uh, I kind of want my Thought Seizes, but I don't want it more than the cards that are in my deck. This is what I'm doing. Okay, land, Thought Seize, Voidwalker, etc. Keep. Perfect hand. Opponent kept seven. Let's see what they are. Force of Will, Brainstorm, Murktide Regent. I'm going to take this Force of Will. Because Bowmaster lines up well against the Channeler, heads up. And if they do that, then that Brainstorm's pretty bad. Volcanic Island, Dragon's Rage Channeler, heck yeah. Oh cool. I can even Dark Ritual and Double Spell this. Okay, I'm gonna play Saga. I mean, they have that Wasteland and they're likely to use it. I could Wasteland them, play around days. But I'm playing around days anyway just by playing cards. Now I'm gonna play Urborg and Double Spell here. Both creatures. Dark Ritual. Voidwalker. Not a little greedy here. I think it's better to play Bowmaster first to play around days, but I just looked at their hand and now that thing's in the exile zone. 
Unholy heat, my bowmaster. Yeah, you better. Gonna wasteland me too? Nope. Okay. I would... Oh, they're still holding wasteland, though. I'm gonna waste them. I was about to say I'd rather get Saga going than fire off a wasteland here now that they hit their land drop. But if I can get them to waste my Urborg, then Saga gets to ride. I have a bunch of cool cards in the void currently. Misty Rainforest still holding on to that wasteland, if it's even still in their hand after the brainstorm. And stuff, Fatal Push. Another Dothy. Good stuff. Back first. Second main, Urza Saga and play Voidwalker. And pass it. Force of Will, Pitching, Murktide Regent. Okay. That's ugly. I like it. They are fetching, so either the last card in their hand is Wasteland, and they're behind to my creatures, or they just shuffled away Wasteland, and my Saga gets to ride. They did keep the Wasteland. That presumably was last card in their hand. I guess there's the, the four outer that they just redrew it immediately, but I think it's more likely they held onto it. I'm going to hold this land and make them think about Bowmasters. Not that... I mean, if I have Bowmasters, they're just dead anyway, though. So. Probably should have played out the land. Wasteland, cool. I'm going to attack first. Because if they did draw a bolt for Voidwalker, I can waste them in response. And then the land's also in the void. Now they're at one, facing down two creatures, and clearly didn't have a removal spell last turn. Nice. Play versus draw. Now I got to get one on the draw. Soul Guide Lantern. Maybe that should just be in the deck. They do use their graveyard enough. But I had trouble finding cuts last time. What am I going to cut now? Maybe it's Lotus Petal. I don't really want to be in a position to have to use mana in that way. I'm a 23 land deck versus Delver. I don't want to have to spew off a resource just to get a card on the stack. And it's a terrible top deck. Snuff Out's cool. Fatal Push is cool. Lots of removal in this hand. I'm going to roll with it. Volcanic Island. Dragon's Rage Channeler. Bobble. Kept their card. Do like a dark ritual. I could try to wasteland them and see what happens on their next turn. Or I could go for this dark ritual now. If they daze that, I'm not even that mad about it. Then I still have all my action spells. Okay, I can play Bowmaster playing around daze. And if they force it, I can fatal push. And looks like they just had none of the above. Just shoved my card through daze. Burned off a of black, but that's okay. Shocked in steam vents. Counterbalance. Okay. Another bow daddies. I can wasteland them, or I can play another bow masters. They don't know any of their top cards. Okay, I'm gonna go for bow master. Lightning bolt on top. Well, cool, we're in there. They can bolt one of these things, but they have two of them now. Delver. DRC. They didn't go for the bolt. Two fatal pushes. I'm going to attack with my army first. And now we're in kind of an interesting situation. Because if they have a one on top, which is the most likely, but they don't know anything about their top right now. Okay, I'm going to wasteland volcanic island and then just pass the turn. So if Delver flips, I'll get to see what's on top of the deck. And if it doesn't, I know it's not a spell. Delver did not flip. But I guess I don't know anything because this could be another one-drop creature. Okay, I'm going to Fatal Push DRC in response to the Surveil trigger. It did not reveal. DRC's dead. Surveilled away Murktide, okay. And then bolted one of my Bowmasters. I don't really like my spot here. I have two more removal spells lined up and they can't cantrip effectively, but... Only goes so far. I'm going to do the same thing I did last turn. If Delva reveals something that doesn't counter Fatal Push, I'm going in. Okay, cool. And they committed their fetch already. Which means I get to push this thing, and unless they're holding a counter spell, they're in trouble. Cool. Alright, Delver's dead. Force of Will is cleared. They are drawing wild here. Murktide Regent's still alive, but I have Snuff out. It looks like they've got nothing. Children. Things that are never happening in this game include 
attack with my creatures. Petty theft. Yeah, that was always a possibility. And number three, they can play their Brazen Borrower now. Oh no, Delver. They're starting to stabilize. Not like this. Okay. I drew a land. I can play Painter. Wasteland on top. I'm going to paint it white, I think. I don't want to turn on any Hydro or Pyroblast. And I need to snuff out things so I can't say black. Okay, white it is. Wasteland on top of the deck. If I snuff out, then my answer to Murktide is gone. Oh, I know Delver's not flipping because they're drawing Wasteland. Okay, yeah, I can just pass. Cool. Delver is drawing Wasteland, or Delver's looking at Wasteland, and then my opponent's drawing it. That gives me another turn to draw a Mana Source to cast one of these Plague Engineers. There's the Wasteland. Children's Edict, okay. I'm going to attack with Painter. That's the one that doesn't die. And when they go for Brazen Borrower in the end step, I'm going to shoulder the Edict there. Because I want the Delver to die. That's the one that can block Bowmasters. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Counterbalance trigger. Force of Will on top. Brazen Borrower's in. And I'm still not going to snuff this out. I don't care about Force of Will. If they play a Murktide, then they don't have Force Backup anyway. Cool. Back with my creatures. Plague Engineer, let's go. Unholy Heat revealed. I'm going to name Rogue. Brazen Borrower is a fairy rogue. And I don't think there are any other fairies that could be in the deck, but True Name Nemesis is a rogue. Not that I expect that, but it is a playable card with that card type. Their hand is Force of Will, Unholy Heat. I kind of expect them to heat Bowmaster and then cast a Brainstorm. They've been sitting on one card in their hand this entire game. And I think it's been a cantrip. Okay, Preordain. Yep. A worse card than Brainstorm, to be sure. But still pretty solid. Top bottom. They like what they found. Ponder. Okay. Chose to shuffle. Bobble. Okay, so they're going to be at one going into their next turn. I can play Shouldered if I draw land, and I can add Plague Engineer on Human if nothing else happens. Arn. Okay. Not helpful. Put you to one. Where Force of Will will no longer help you. Add another creature, Plague Engineer on Human, dodge the counterbalance, please. Ponder on top. Human hits Delver and Dragon's Rage Channeler. And I still have a snuff out just in case. They can't fetch, they can't force, they gotta kill three creatures, and they gotta beat a snuff out while they do it. I guess something like uh, Brotherhood's End would be good here. If they have a Red Sweeper, they can stabilize. But they have nothing. Defeated Delver. Easy, easy. On to the next one. Still undefeated. You come here to level up at Magic. To level up as a software engineer, check out the new YouTube series Dev Better, hosted by the founder of 7 Factor Software and Magic player, Jeremy Duvall. 7 Factor's small teams of high-performing engineers build custom mobile apps, APIs, and highly scalable systems for Fortune 500 companies and ambitious startups with great ideas. If you'd like to hire 7 Factor, or maybe join their team, contact them through their website at 7factor.io. And don't forget to subscribe to 7 Factors YouTube for every episode of Dev Better. I'm on the draw in round three. Hand pretty clunky. The double herb work sucks. That's a lot of four drops. And in maybe if this was Swamp Swamp, I'd think about it. I do play a lot of mana sources. I'm going to run with it. Like Dark Ritual makes this hand good. I can snuff something out in the meantime if I need to. Very awkward, but... Look what deck we registered. Sometimes it's going to be awkward. Chrome Mox. Oh, baby. Red. Prison. Rabble Master. Okay, can't stop this out on the play. Or on the draw. I can't on the play. Basic Swamp. Oh, Lotus Petal. I'll take that. Herborg Lotus Petal. I now have turn to Karn or Shouldred. If they don't Blood Moon. Another Rabble Master. I'm going to snuff out the first one. I think that's going to be worth more than four damage. Yeah, basically immediately. Okay, uh, shove shoulder into play. Hope it's good enough. That's the plan. City of Traitors from my opponent. Looks like they have a Chalice on one. Okay. 
That does affect some of my deck. Nothing in my hand currently. This is where I draw Dark Ritual right away and get punished for that. They're down to one card in their hand, though. Let's hope that I can beat it with Shouldered. Bang. Yeah, if they just ram their goblins through here, the Rabble Master can... Oh, Rabble Master didn't attack. That's interesting. They either have nothing or they're being too clever. I think just shoving that Rabble Master through is a perfectly fine thing to do. Yeah, I think they're casting Fury here and finishing off the Shouldered. But if you had that... Yeah, what? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It works. Yeah, that was a pretty good last two cards in hand. Uh, they needed a red source, too. Cool. Yep. All right. Dead. A Fury plus red source on their hand that started the turn with one card in it. Good stuff. On the draw against that deck, though, not surprised we lost. Kind of an awkward hand. I like Bowmasters. I like Fatal Push. I like Plague Engineer. The rest of these cards are better in the sideboard. This deck does almost no searching of its deck, unless they like, get the initiative and tutor up a basic land. That's really the only searching they do. Shadow Spear is excellent. Edict is fine. One Ring is just full time walk in the matchup. Voidwalker's fine. Shouldred's good. Maybe I don't like Lotus Petal. Maybe I just don't like that card in general. It's possible. Okay, I'm doing it like this. There's the one ring. I can turn to it. Uh, That's so tempting. Or turn to Shouldred, but I'm in trouble to... Uh, Alright, I'm going to keep... But I am in trouble to a Blood Moon or Chalice. <laughs> that's exactly where I want to be with my mono black deck. In trouble to a Blood Moon. I think I'm going to play Wasteland and pass. Because Dark Ritual can get the Shoulder Door, Karn, or One Ring down next turn, no matter what I lead on here. And if they do turbo out a Blood Moon, I can at least waste them, whatever they use to cast it on the way out, and then we can play Stupid Magic for a while. Ancient Tomb. Spirit Guide, Blood Moon. Alright, good luck, have fun. Let's do it. That's why I led on Wasteland. I have the One Ring, and I have a deck with lots of basics in it. Let's see how this goes. How fast can they rebuild? One mountain. Come on, basic swamp. Basic swamp, basic swamp. Chrome mocks, chrome mocks. Okay, I've got a bunch of painters now. Painter on white, green. I don't know, sure, green. Any color other than black or blue is fine there. Look at this cool Golgari Shouldred. Green One Ring. And Magic Online rules. Land, 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 basic swamp. Oh, Shadow Spear is not bad, though. Another painter. This time make everything white. Bunch of crazy three color gold cards. One threes can stabilize against various goblin objects that could come out here. Six toughness is bigger than a fury. Right, they have not missed a land drop since getting wasted, and I have. I am stable against this type of thing, though. And Basic Swamp sends me into the stratosphere. Just gotta find one. Basic Swamp. Basic Swamp. Children's Edict. Son of a Biscuit. Oh, Shadow Spear equipping one of these Painter Servants next turn is very good. If they have sequenced up a meltdown situation, I am dead. Land number four. Okay. A little goblin has to attack. The big one can attack. It is a trade with Painter. Or it is. it does eat Painter straight up. Okay. I am just going to block the little one. And if I get Shadow Spear equipped this turn, I don't mind this three damage so much. The one ring, yep. Yeah, that's cool. I wish I thought of that. Basic Swamp. <laughs> okay, equip a painter. And pass the turn. So I did board out two Lotus Petals. I will admit that there are fewer mana sources in the deck than there could be. However, I play Chrome Mox and eight or seven basic lands. 
that's eight cards. I'm 12 cards deep in my deck. Unfortunate run here. Right, do you just cast Fury now and end me? A rabble, another rabble master. Okay. A big attack. But I can take two here and keep my painters alive, or I could eat one of the rabble masters with the shadow spear, homie. All right, we're getting a turn. Basic swamp, basic swamp, basic swamp, chrome mox, chrome mox, basic swamp. Wasteland, that's not it. Okay, uh, continuing to tread water, but now they're drawing. They're going to be drawing three cards by tapping the ring. There are multiple ring turns ahead of me now. That sucks. Yep, just eight cards in their hand. I'm sure that's beatable in some universe. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. These Rabble Masters have to attack. Because there's two of them. Oh, that's why they attacked with the other one last turn, too. Yep, all makes sense. Okay, I think I have to lose a Painter here, and now I'm just blown out to any removal spell forever. Fable number two. Okay, deck. Any land now gets me the One Ring and gets me into this grindy situation as well. Or Orcish Bowmaster is an uncastable card. Uh, this is an exercise in frustration. I don't think our keep was bad. It was soft to a very specific series of things. But what had to happen here is opponent had to turn one Blood Moon. And they had to dig out of zero non-Blood Moon permanents in play faster than I did. And my deck has eight sources of basic black. And the Dark Ritual in my hand would have won this game on any turn up until like probably last turn when they drew three with the ring was... A game ender too late at that point but any point up to that point would have been fine now they're drawing four off the ring just cast a fury so i can leave okay geez yeah that's magic the gathering maybe you just can't cut a mana source in a matchup where blood moon is a thing but i haven't drawn a sideboard card like not that that's a good argument but 24 mana sources, eight of them making black through Blood Moon. Any one of them wins the game on the spot. Uh, tough beat there. On to the next round. Command Tower software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting TCG events. It features easy to create event registration for 1v1 and four player Swiss structure tournaments. Event management has never been so simple, and it's web based, so there's no download required. Get access for just $5 at eminence.events. Subscribe. On the draw in round four, with a hand that does not make black mana, gonna have to send this one. I'm much more interested in this. This is a very fast painter combo. I'm gonna keep it and bottom one of the sagas. But let's count this out. Grindstone on one. This is a six mana combo total, so I have three, four on turn one, five on turn two if I want, and I can spend one. I'm gonna keep this and bottom the petal. So if I keep the petal, yeah, I'm going to bottom the Saga, actually. And I'm going to go Saga Grindstone on turn one and try to go to for a turn two win. R and the Great Creator. There's a Saga. Grindstone. And I'm just going to pass the turn here. They don't need to know what I'm capable of. Basic Swamp. Dark Ritual. Unmask targeting yourself. Uh, Grizzle Brand and two Exhumes. Disappointing. Uh, I guess if I had known the matchup, I would have Dark Ritualed out the Painter. Alright, well, let's see where this goes. They just need one discard spell and I lose, but... Ugh. Being on the draw against the turn two... With a turn two against the deck that turn two'd me. Sarah's Emissary, cool. Put that into play name artifact? Yeah, I'm not lit. I'm not giving you the satisfaction. I'm out of here. Ugh. I guess if I go Urborg, Dark Ritual, Painter, Grindstone, Loat the Lotus Petal in play, then I still beat that start. But I can't know that's what they're doing. Inverted Catacombs is mostly in combo decks, but I don't know that they're not Doomsday, you know? Okay, Soul Guide Lantern, Orcish Bowmasters. I think I like Tormod's Crypt in the sideboard to wish for. Children of the Edict is fine. Oppo's fine. Shadow Spear probably doesn't matter. One Ring could buy me some time. Snuff out. Not going to help. 
Though snuff out is my out to Sarah's emissary. I have Shuljin's edict too, but all right, never mind. One ring's too slow. You're out of here. This is what I'm doing. I'm a deck with four main deck Dothy Void Walkers. Now that I know the matchup, we can make better decisions. <laughs> uh, better decisions, including um, putting some black sources in the opening hand, maybe. I got a mulligan this. Hand's insane in other matchups, but that's not where we are. Okay, here we go. Keep this one, bottom Karn. I'm going to turn one of Void Walker and try to draw another land before I lose. Okay, Void Walker's in. Let's see what they're going to do about it. Faithless looting. They're going to throw a bunch of stuff in the void about it. Thoughtsy is probably my best draw. If I can strip a monster and then put it in the void and then cast it, that's a good way to go. They have to be really careful about what they loot away here. Exhume reanimate. Lotus Petal from hand. Through a Karn. Not helpful. That's what I sent to the bottom. Now they're looting. They're still digging. They haven't found it out yet. Ritual and Tomb. Giving me a ritual is exciting. Oh, a ritual here, too. I could have six mana right now. Like I could play Karn and Voidwalker. I'd have to sack Voidwalker to net one mana. Replay Voidwalker, play Karn, wish for Tormod's Crypt. Does that beat the show and tell they're setting up for? Helm of Obedience is in my sideboard. They can't show and tell if I have Helm. Okay. I have kind of a wild plan here. Okay, Dark Ritual. Play Voidwalker. Voidwalker. Cast your Dark Ritual. Play Karn. Grab. Do I want Helm? Yeah, I guess so. I'll get Helm because this plays around show and tell as well as I can. This also shuts off the Lotus Petal. Another emergency looting. Grizzlebrand in the void. And a scoop. Love it. Okay. We took turns not playing the game. Now I am on the draw. What do I do with that information? I still kind of like the idea of four mana getting graveyard hate with Tormod's Crypt, the zero being in the board. Yeah, I think I'm just going to run with that. I gotta be pretty discerning with my mulligans here, though. This one has a Thought Seize on turn one, and it has a turn two Karn. Uh, I'm gonna keep... It doesn't get much better than this, given that I'm on the draw with a non-blue deck with no Surgicals and no Ley Lines. Unmasked targeting me. Okay. Am I losing my Thought Seize? Seems likely. I am losing my Thought Seize. You know what would be great? Lotus Petal. It can't be Chrome Mox, I only have one black card, but Lotus Petal is kind of the nuts here. Dothy Voidwalker, I'll take it. Dark Ritual, Dothy Voidwalker. Boom. Okay. Shields are up. If they show and tell, I put in the One Ring. It's a pretty good show and tell. And they could have Entombed in response to Voidwalker, and they didn't. Which makes me think that's not the plan. Okay, show and tell. I'm going to put in the one ring. You have a Traxa. I have one ring. These are the cards that they see. We'll see which ones they take. Okay, anime dead, show and tell. Archon, Badlands, Wear Tear is what they kept. I can draw a card with the ring in the end step. I can draw it any time, but I'm going to draw it in the end step. I take one from that. A Thoughtseize would be insane here. Lotus Petal. After I asked for it. I wanted that last turn, but I could Karn now. What does that do? Ancient Tomb, Lotus Petal, Karn. Karn can get Ensnaring Bridge. And then if they cast that other show and tell, I've got action. Oh, but they have Wear Tear in their hand. And I don't have mana to Helm with. I could grab another One Ring and enjoy another turn of protection, and this also shrugs off the show-and-tell. I could show-and-tell, but from their exile, that doesn't help me, though, because if I put in the helm, my things will be gone. I'm going to get the other one ring, actually. I'm in for that. Oh, if they show-and-tell, I get protection from everything, and Archon's trigger does target. 
And I'm the non-active player, so my one ring trigger will resolve before their Archon trigger does. Are they going to respect Karn, or are we just going face? Going face, okay. Makes sense. If they fart around too long, that's a lot of digs at Thoughtseize, and if I get their Archon, they lose. Lotus Petal, that doesn't work. Resolves. And passing the turn, cool. I take two in my upkeep. Soul Guide Lantern. Uh, if I draw any piece of fast mana, I win. They have five cards in their hand, and we know what they all are. Thoughtseize wins it. Dark Ritual wins it. I'm going to draw three cards and see what happens. None of the above, of course. Okay, but what I can do is put a Trax into play. Do I even want to do that? I don't think so. If I tap Ancient Tomb, I go to 6. I take 3 down to 3 in my next turn. Then I have to win that turn. It can be done. Oh, if I play Urborg, then I don't have to take the 2, and I do get some mana. 3 gets me Soul Guide Lantern and Edict. This is really tight. I'm of Obedience in my sideboard. Okay, I'm going to play Urborg. And I'm going to... Edict my opponent. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. How about a Traxa? And then I can play Soul Guide Lantern for a black. Exile Unmask. Arn can boop Lotus Petal Snoot. And I'll attack for three. And then I have Lethal next turn with the helm as long as Voidwalker is still in play. And I happen to know that None of the cards in their hand stop that from happening. They're going to need a good draw here. There's the Badlands, Dark Ritual, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That does not cast Archon. Show and Tell resolves. I'm going to put in the One Ring. I'm going to keep the new one. I have protection from everything. Wait, what the shit? Oh, I didn't cast it, right? Ah, damn it. I needed to cast the One Ring. That's not how this card works. I am the worst. Okay, uh, right. If you cast it, our words on that card. Son of a biscuit. Okay, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. We can still do this. Maybe. I was so confident. New cards, new cards. New card alert. New card crisis. Okay, activate the one ring. Thought seize. I take one, I'm down to four. Draw for turn. Shouldered. Okay, uh... <laughs> Uh, working way harder than I would like to be. Archon hits for nine. Archon show and tell are gone. Wear tear animate dead. Yeah, that's one of those things that you you mess up one time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I draw exactly dark ritual off of a one ring activation, we're still cooking. What happens if I shoulder it first? I just lose. Yeah, okay. I'm going to draw two cards off one ring. I need Dark Ritual. Ancient Tomb. D nope, that doesn't help. I can Thought Seize the Wear Tear, then I'm at two. And because I activated one ring, I have too many cards in my hand. Is this how this is going to go? I'm going to die for Exaxes because I didn't know what my card does. If you cast it. Yep, right there on the card. Could have cast a Trax the last turn. Oh my god. Yes, all I can do is Thought Seize and then Concede because I have too many cards. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Does drawing a card with Soul Guide Lantern do anything? Is there a path? I think drawing a card, finding Dark Ritual is still the closest thing I have to getting out of this. All right, I'm going to draw a card. Another card. Uh, all right, well, I messed this one up. <laughs> Those of you at home who are familiar with the One Ring and just saw me smugly sitting there saying I can never lose Checkmate Nerd and then uh, just didn't read my card. I could have wished for Helm last turn, sacked Karn to the ETB trigger instead of the Voidwalker. Like if I just knew how my cards work, that could have gone that way. If I had mapped out, don't activate One Ring, Thought sees the Wear Tear, get Ensnaring Bridge, survive for one turn, get set up with Shouldred. That's another line there. Just comedy of errors there, all hinging on not knowing what this new card did. I've literally played with this card twice. Uh, 
as of this league. My bad. Learn from my mistakes. On to the final round. For the absolute best Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, check out the link in the video description to coalesceapparel.shop and be sure to use the code BOSTONROLL for 10% off when you check out. On the play for the final round, have this uh, oppo agent and nothing to, nothing to do with it, Mulligan. Okay, let's party. I'm going to keep this bottom children's vert edict and just dark ritual go or not dark ritual go swap go yeah dark ritual go got him a blooded strand this is the type of thing that i can blow out with a, a ritual uh-oh watery grave got a little death shadow in the chat ponder all right let's see are they going to counter my dark ritual orcish bowmasters get in there this is not Hall Breacher. This is just kind of annoying for them. Let's see how much damage I end up getting out of this thing. There's already one. There's about to be another. And then I'm attacking for three. The Wasteland backing it up is pretty exciting. But this is the type of thing where if they get Death Shadow going, I'm in trouble. Another Voidwalker. I'm just going to Wasteland and Bash. In for three. Opponents at 12. Death Shadow's on. They did choose to shuffle the Ponder. Let's hope they need to cantrip their way out of this. And if they don't need to cantrip their way out of this, let's hope that I draw a swamp before Death Shadow kills me by itself. Another Wasteland. Doesn't have a target right now, but I can cast another Bowmaster with it. Luda Delta. And passing the turn. I'm not going to flash in the other Bowmaster. Dark Ritual's hot. This deck does play Fatal Push, but it also relies on Snuff Out pretty hard. Let's see what the plan is here. We're we seeing a Brazen Borrower on our army. Oh, it's Black Black. Your very own Bowmasters. Lucky. Okay, you can ping my Bowmaster. And you get an army. I'm going to see how they block here before I Dark Ritual. If they double block. Okay. Uh, No, I'm a, I am very comfortable with this exchange of resources. And then I'll double spell in the second main. I don't need to burn off precious mana unspent dark ritual and I think Voidwalker is better with my opponent at seven than the bowmaster is I'm casting both but one of them plays around days and I chose to play around days with Voidwalker yep there's days it's fine okay they're tapping a bunch of mana this looks like a murktide regent there it is just a little four four cute little guy Gonna get my three in. This is why I led on Voidwalker instead of Bowmaster last turn. And I'm gonna play Grindstone first. I kinda am inviting them to daze. And waste one of these lands. Which are four. The Grindstone doesn't really matter. And it is giving up information. But also, if it makes them sideboard weird, I'm into it. And if they do, like, Brazen Borrow my Voidwalker... And I would like uh, my other plan starting to work. Alright, they've had enough. Death Shadow with Orcish Bowmasters. Plague Engineer. More Bowmasters. Fatal Push all coming in. Snuff Out hits Murktide Regent only. That is an important card. But I'm also a deck full of Graveyard Hate. I'm still feeling the One Ring. I'm going to rock it out. I can go down a Thoughtseize. Maybe two. But definitely one. Oppo Agent is powerful in this matchup, but it's less powerful than Plague Engineer, and I'm on the draw where it's a lot worse. I'll leave one in for the, the gotcha factor. And maybe I am going down one more Thoughtseize. It's either Thoughtseize or Lotus Petal. I really don't like these Lotus Petals. I understand what they're doing in the deck, but I kind of wish they were all just Chrome Moxes, or that we weren't doing that at all. I can keep this hand. I can Wasteland their first two lands and Fatal Push their first threat. And is pretty awkward, but there are lots of sequences where it lines up well. We'll see if I can find myself in one of them. Uh, there's a Voidwalker. There's not a lot of cards my deck can't cast with what it currently has, but that's one of them. Wasteland. They can Wasteland my Wasteland force the action here. I'm going to go after Polluted Delta. That is more likely to be able to fetch relevant basic lands than Flooded Strand. Okay, 
not what they're doing. Okay, can... Ooh. I'm going to go with the Wasteland still. Still hoping to sort of collapse their whole game plan. If I can. Floating black. We're going to see a Bowmaster here. Probably. There it is. I'm just going to Fatal Push it now. If they daze picking up a land, that's a land they don't have in this tight resource situation. That's fine. I have more removal in my hand. And my hand is pretty susceptible to days all the same. Water Graves back. There's a Saga. Let's go. And in their upkeep, I'm going to Shouldred's Edict for non-token. That will eat the Bowmaster. Or it will call, cause a super awkward upkeep days. Force of Will. Exiling Force of Will. Cool. Just flushing out all sorts of counter magic with the One Ring looming. One ring pretty rough against Orcish Bowmasters, though, not gonna lie. Maybe I should just run my course with Urza Saga. That was a good draw. Now I don't have to take damage when I do this. I'm in. No shuffle on the Flooded Strand after the Brainstorm. They like all their cards. Okay, attacking with the Bowmaster. I'm gonna offer up my 1 1 construct. Second Bowmaster would be rough here. Any 1 for 1 removal spells, fine. Yuck. Okay. That happened. I am taking three now. For another Urborg. I'm going to tutor just float mana and tutor grindstone. Float mana, tutor grindstone. And then I can cast the one ring now. Or I could cast two Dothy Voidwalkers. I'm going to do that. Let's just flip the script here and try to out-tempo them. Because if I have two unblockable three power creatures or... You have a daze, okay. A lot of dazes. If I had two unblockable three power creatures running into the one ring, I can bash you for six, protect from everything, bash you for six, and just tempo them out. Flushing out another daze is nice. Shocking in Watery Grave. I am shocked. This looks like Murktide. It's going to be time for the one ring. In for four. Okay, I can... One, two, three, four, one ring. The void currently contains Days and Flooded Strand. Back here for three. And right now, while I have protection from everything, the Bowmaster can't ping me. It can ping Voidwalker. That's just one. Oh, there's two of them. I'm so stupid. Unreal. <laughs> you don't even, like, have another target. Oh, I think they accidentally targeted their own army with the first ping. I'll take that. Cool. Uh, yeah, there's two copies of that card in play. Right, 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 right. That's the thing. Hey, what am I even looking for here? There's a Death Shadow. I'm looking for a Painter, and I have to find it right away. If I activate the One Ring... Oh, I go to one. All right, I can draw two cards here. Let's party. Come on, Painter. Oh, ho, 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 ho. All right, two cards in their hand. Hope they're bad. All right, they're putting all their pings on me, ignoring Voidwalker. Uh, they have days in the void, but they have mana up, and I don't have... Okay, here we go, Painter. Did I win? Or do I lose? Those are the two options. Paint everything black so I can't get snuffed. And... Okay. Put your cards in the void, please. It happened. We got the GGs. Okay. Uh, their Bowmaster trigger didn't actually matter. But... It was close. And I'm not going to attack with Voidwalker. I want to use their counter magic that's in the void in case they're, one of their last cards is Bowmaster to ping me for one. Okay. Uh, mistakes were made by me and my opponents in these last two rounds, respectively. This deck is pretty cool. I like a deck that has multiple angles to it. I'm not entirely sure that being Painter is better than just having the Ley Lines in and being focused on a, a Helm deck. You're still an Urza Saga deck. You're still a Karn deck. You still have... You're still susceptible to Artifact Hate. 
you're less susceptible to creature hate as the leyline deck. You have the you have the leyline turn zero leyline game one cheese against a large percentage of the format that cares about that. Bowmaster is sick condition of the deck. Oppo agent kind of stock dropping with Bowmasters around. You don't need something as clunky as Oppo agent anymore. I don't know if you all remember, but the discourse when Opposition Agent was spoiled, Legacy was over, Eternal Formats were ruined. People were madder about this than they were about Hall Preacher. And this card kind of sucks in Legacy. And if you don't turn one it on the play, it might not do anything. And even then, Tundra Swords to Plowshares, Volcanic Island Lightning Bolt. Sometimes opponents just have the land in their hand and they don't have to fetch for it. Oppo Agent was my least favorite part of the deck. Shouldred One Ring. This does end up really four drop heavy. And maybe we need to just lean in and play four chrome mocks, add a city of traders or two to the ancient tombs, and go a little heavier. There's probably a very cool build of this with a, a lot of one rings, like three or four of them. And maybe you're not messing around with Painter. Dedicate yourself to the leyline life. I don't know. There, there's a bunch of different ways to go here, and I'm not going to be able to theorycraft which one of them is best. Uh, it's more about what you want to do with your time and your deck in Legacy. Lots of cool things to be done with Dark Ritual in the format, and uh, pick your favorite, I guess. Justin has chosen Painter, and we put up a positive record with it. Might have been a 4-1 if I knew how cards work, but that's okay. Now we all know how that cards work. Justin, thank you for sharing this. Opportunities to play new cards are fun. Learning how these things work in low stakes environments, exactly what I want to be doing. Everyone else, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out the Patreon and all the sponsors, and I'll see you next time.